I hate to be the bad guy, and I do like Quinn's ideas, and his Dune videos are very, very strong. He's made a very serious effort to master the mythology, but I gotta call out BS when I gotta call it out. For a while, Quinn has been very viscerally negative about the David Lynch version, even the Hodorowsky version, because it doesn't fit the books, and Lynch departed far too much from Herbert's vision. Denis has also made many, many changes, and Quinn concedes that, but hey, magic, that's okay. It's okay we're changing everything, because, you know, Quinn is selling his ass out to Hollywood. People say things like, oh, Denis Villeneuve sucked a lot of the weirdness out of Dune, but I don't necessarily agree, because I think that Villeneuve has his own unique brand of weirdness, and that certainly comes out in the Harkonnens, because they are very... Listen, I get it. His channel is approaching 1 million. He used to do Game of Thrones. And I can only congratulate him that he knows how the YouTube system works. He moved from Game of Thrones to Dune, put out a lot of videos there, and made some good money. And he's very clear he's pro Denis. So, of course, he's going to like the new film. How did he see the film so early? Well, there you go. That's what selling out does. You get special privileges and perks. That said, do I think... Dune fans of goodwill could really admire the Denis version. I guess the problem comes with the hypocrisy that he still attacks the David Lynch version. And there are many things to fault about the David Lynch version. But here's the problem. Frank Herbert was there to help Lynch. He didn't control the whole production, but he did give feedback. So at least we have the official, actual creator of Dune who endorsed the 1984 version. Again, he had still many issues, especially with the ending, which is very controversial. However, there is no doubt that Herbert had a hand in that production. Denis cannot make that claim. So to say, as a fan of Dune, I will allow Mr. Denis to make all these changes, and I recommend you guys love it too. Well, you can recommend what you please. You're not the author of the Dune books. So it's just ridiculous double standard that Lynch is going to be faulted for departing from the books. But magically, Denis is okay because, again, Quinn wants to make a career in Hollywood. Again, I do think Quinn is a good guy at the end of the day, but really, he is just being a grifter and just trying to sell this fantasy that this is at all really what Frank Herbert wanted. This is what we all want to get. A way to get a tradition. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You're just lying. But I do think he made some good criticisms of the film. Better, Florence Pugh as the Princess Erelon was well done, but she had a role that was more on the outskirts, and so did Christopher Walken as the Emperor. If I could say maybe one critique of the movies, I would have liked to see more of House Corino. So yeah, we don't really get much with the Emperor, or even with his house. If you were hoping to get a lot of that, that ain't going to happen. So he did criticize aspects of the new film. But really, it's astonishing how he's just letting all these changes happening. And he was berating Lynch and video after video. But now magics. Oh my god, Denis is saving us, guys. He's honoring the books. Oh my god, he's such a cinematic visionary. Now I think Denis is a great director. But again, he promised the books. Promised to be respectful of the books. He's not doing it instead of calling him out. Wow, magically, Quinn is finding all these excuses. Gosh, it's like he wants more money and more fame and celebrity. Oh, gosh, golly. Well, okay, fine, but then just say that. Stop with all this. Oh, this is what Frank Herbert wanted. How do you know that? Are you part of the Herbert family? Are you like a second cousin we never heard about? I hope in my review I can try to recommend the movie, but I will be honest. I think I'm going to be very tough because Frank Herbert deserves a lot better than hypocrisy and double standards because, you know, I want to sell my ass out to Hollywood. And that's okay, because Quinn's ideas are Quinn's ideas.